As cities across the nation work to improve relationships between police departments and the people they're sworn to serve, the city of Radford has a familiar face working on that full time. 10 News reporter Annie Schroeder is working for you to share the details on how the city hopes to implement community policing. When police chief Jeff Dodson took on his role in January, he had one major goal. We got to work with, with the community, not against them. Dodson says the death of George Floyd sparked important conversations within the Radford City Police Department. A lot of that prompted here at the police department some discussions and policy and just making sure that policies and practices that we have in place here are best practices. So Chief Dodson brought in some extra help when it comes to community outreach. Felt like I added a little bit to what a police officer does. Um, I had a different view. Sergeant Emily Height spends 40 hours a week dedicated to improving and coming up with new ideas for community policing. Of just concentrating on the community and being transparent. We need to build that trust with them and by doing that you need to let them know like what we're doing in house. Some efforts include socially distanced meetings with faith based leaders and virtual chats with the police chief. Height hopes it will help bridge the gap between the department and the community. And they know that trust that they can trust in us in their worst times or when they just need some advice that we're there for them. Dodson believes these new efforts will benefit the entire community in the long run. We're going to solve more crimes. Uh, we're going to get more information from citizens. We're going to have less um, negative encounters usually with our citizens. In Radford, Annie Schroeder, 10 News, working for you. The police chief hosts virtual chats with the community on Wednesday of each week. We'll have information on how to join those over on our website, WSLS.com.